I'm gonna show you how to make your video stand out like this with this cool little director set from Grip Gear. Stay tuned. Welcome to Paul's Projects in this week's episode of What the in the Box. This week, we are talking about the director set from Grip Gear. The effects that you actually seen at the beginning of the video were a combination of the slider and some effects that I'm gonna show you how to download for free, and I'm also gonna show you how to use them. But before we get into the video, we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so if you're into DIY and tech, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you get the content information when it comes out. All right, so the first thing we wanna do is unbox this thing, then we're gonna assemble it, and we'll get into the meat of the video after that. If you guys are not interested in the unboxing or the assembly, or you just wanna purchase this thing and come back for the assembly, that's fine. I've left timestamps in the links below so that you guys can do that. Oh, okay, we're back. All right, let's go and see how we assemble this thing. So we start with attaching the ball joint to the movie maker by placing it in this hole. Now, if you're gonna use the phone mount, you're gonna wanna screw this in to the ball joint. Here you can insert your phone by just pulling the mount up. Now we're gonna put the track together. Start by taking the middle joint and placing it in the track on the bottom. Now slide the movie maker on top of that track. And take your other track and slide it into the movie maker. If you are not using the track on a tripod, you can use the feet. All you need to do is fold them out and use a thumb screw to tighten them up. Now from here, all you gotta do is plug in the small end of the USB into the movie maker, and then the other end into a wall socket. You also have the option, if you don't wanna use any power to the unit, you can unplug the USB and just use the internal battery. Now it's time to put the dolly and the 360 mount together. Placing the 360 panoramic mount in the proper direction and snapping it onto the movie maker. Now it's time to put the dolly and the 360 mount together. Now on the opposite side, take the dolly with the wheels facing down and screw it into the base of the movie maker. Take your power wheel and screw that directly onto your 360 panoramic mount by using the tab that pulls out from the power wheel. Well, for those of you that watch the assembly and the unboxing, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now we're about to see what this thing can do. There's a couple things that I do wanna mention before we do though. If you guys are interested in more footage, there will be a link in the description below for our Instagram. We put a ton of footage for this thing on there. So if this doesn't satisfy you though, then you can go over to our Instagram. And don't forget to subscribe there. Also, I will be giving my opinion at the end of the video. There were some things that you guys may want to know about before you purchase this thing. Speaking of purchasing it, if you guys are interested, there's links in the description below. It's 149 bucks Canadian. I'm not sure what it is in American, but both links for US and Canadian 
are in the description. All these cameras are shot from an outside perspective as well as from the camera's perspective itself. Some of this footage was actually used in a video we just did called Sonos Beam. So I will leave a link right up here for you guys to check that out if you want to see the footage from that. The last thing I want to mention here is that the last four shots of the shots we took were with the A6300 with a heavy monitor on it. So there are some interesting uh, scenarios that happened there. Anyways, I'll let you guys take a look at this and then I'll talk to you after it's done. So as I promised you before, we're gonna use the footage and show you how to use that plugin. I'm also gonna show you guys how to download it, but first we gotta jump over to the PC. So let's go and do that right now. A few minutes later. Okay, okay, here we are back at the desk. And the first thing I need you guys to do is hit the link in the description below. It should be the first one there. And that link is gonna take you to this fellas. YouTube page. This is Kyler Holland and he's a phenomenal video editor and photographer. He also comes out with these pre-packs all the time and they are awesome. Okay, this particular pre-pack is free. Most of them are. Uh, so subscribe to his channel because uh, they're well worth it. We're going to click on this link right here which is going to take us to his web page. All right, you should still be able to get this. This is three years after this has come out, so they'll be around for a while, I'm assuming. Okay, uh, this is the actual pre-pack that you get, so click on the add to cart. It'll take you to his donation page. If you can donate to Kyler, you should, because he comes up with packs like this all the time, and they truly help your video editing out. They really do, so if you can, that would be awesome. Okay, next thing you're gonna do, or the next place that's gonna take you after you do that is the download. Download it, it's gonna go to your email. Make sure you guys check your spam and your junk to make sure it's not in there if it's not in your inbox. If it's not in your inbox and it's not in one of those, then you gave me the wrong email. Okay, so you're gonna download it, you're gonna unzip it, and you're gonna get this file here. Okay, this is the preset you get. We're gonna go into our Premiere Pro um, software. This is the actual video you guys are watching right now being edited. Okay, so we'll take a quick look at the uh, actual uh, clip that we're talking about. I love that music. Okay, so uh, you can see how it pulls in, it comes back out and it's really, really easy to do. So all we did was just use the slider to slide in and then we threw one of these presets onto that clip. That was it. The preset I used for this particular clip, if you're interested, is the 100% to 125% and that's reflected up here in our effects panel. Okay, to get that preset on top of that, all you gotta do is click on it, import, go to that wherever you put it. So I'm assuming you put it on your desktop, go into the file, click on it, open it up, and it will go into your presets, as you can see there, okay? So we do tutorials like this all the time in Premiere Pro Tuesdays. They're about two to five minutes, so we do them quick so you guys can learn, and then you guys can get on to video editing instead of sitting there for half an hour waiting for the part that you've been waiting for, like a lot of YouTube 
uh, channels do. Okay, so uh, make sure you guys subscribe to that. Also, the links for the, the uh, grip gear are in the description below. It helps us out if you do buy them off of that link and it doesn't cost you any money other than buying the actual product. Okay, so thank you very much for watching Paul's Projects. Make sure you guys subscribe, help us get to that thousand mark, and we'll see you next time on Paul's Projects.